All right, in this video, we are going to migrate an FT plugin file from Vim to Lua, and we'll use a simple example here. So we're going to take the FT plugin for text files, and I'm going to open up a test text file to show you what's going on. You can see that color column is set to 100. You can see that the color column there is on column 100. And so we want to change it to 50 just for demonstration purposes. And we'll clear all the way out of this and we'll open this up again. Okay. And now if I go over, you see that it's on 50. Okay. So that's our little test case there to see that things are working. We want to put this back on 100. The first thing that we'll do is we will comment this out. We'll just go ahead and set color column to equal 100. Now note that I'm using a string here and putting the number 100 in it. That is what we want in this case. If we look at color column, you'll see that the value is a string. Then we'll go for auto indent and we're going to set this to true. And for line break, same thing. So if we look at line break, you'll see that that's a Boolean. As you've seen with VimScript or Vimal, you put line break or you put no line break, and that is how you make the switch. But with Lua, we need to put the actual true or false. Now we'll go up here to the top and actually give this a Lua comment. That way when we come back, we can check all this. So we'll go ahead and save and now we'll get out so that we can just see everything cleanly here. And what we'll do is rename text.vim to text.lua. And now we will go in and we will open up test.text. And you can see that the color column is now on 100. So now we know this works, we can remove the comment. And just so we are clear that this is completely working, we'll change this to 50 again, and we'll save it and we'll get all the way out. And now we will see that it is on 50. And that is all you have to do to convert your FT plugin files from Vim to Lua. You simply rename them and change the syntax to using Lua instead of Vimal, and you will be all set. Be sure to remember that this number is a string and that you're setting the actual Boolean values here instead of using no line break, line break, etc. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. More content is on the way. Have a great day.